for something that's wood or it's not that wood that Windows 7 as well as Windows 8. Starting off by uh, Windows, Windows 7 or Windows 8, if you've got Word in Microsoft Office, all you do is control alt C and that will give you the copyright symbol to copy your Word document. Whatever it is, so all you have to do is change the word to something like one, copy it, and then head off to the new product and you can get to the new Now, in Windows 7 though, if you have no kind of word there, uh, how you can get around it is to go to all programs, go to accessories, then you go to system tools, and then you'll find something called character map. Click on the character map, and you see a whole bunch of symbols right now. We want the copyright symbol, so I just click select, click copy, and close that. And what you do is right click and paste, and there it is. So you can copy it again and hit it back to the finger. So it's something like that. Now, if you are in Windows 8, and you don't have Microsoft Office. And you've got the word power. So now, what you can do is, on your screen, there is a little icon for what's called touch keyboard. Uh, if you don't see it on your desktop, what you've got to do is, when you first type, you can see what it looks like, but you don't have it. Go to the toolbar, and you see there's click on this touch keyboard, and you take that away, so you can see it. On any keyboard you can go. What do I do? Right, so right click, click <laughs> properties, you go to toolbars, go to touch keyboard, then click OK, and there's the keyboard. So, clicking on the keyboard, now I have two screens, so my keyboard is on the other screen, I'm clicking drag it in from the next screen. There it is, right there. So, you've got a keyboard now, and what you do is there it says in one, two, three, click on that, give you some symbols, click the little arrow to the right, and you'll be able to find the copyright from the right. Click on it and it's going to appear in your web page. And as per usual, you can just click on and change the site list and then your copyright symbol and copy it and take it into the screen. So let me click on the copy button. So now that's in Windows 8. So let me go to my title layer. Now, what you want to do is right click. On uh, this website that you're making, you have to use that type tool. If you're using the selection tool and you right click, nothing's going to happen. So make sure you are using the So right click, hit post, and the copyright symbol is going to appear. Now, because I already have text on this uh, picture, you can see it's made the same format as that stuff that's already there. So you can go down and you can change all the settings from this side. If you want to. And I'm not too concerned about that. Just wanted to show you that you could just right click, paste it right in to your top layer and pin it up. So now it's been built, so I can see a little bit about the way I want to see. And um, it's pretty much the same format, it's a little bit smaller. Same format, it's just fixed there. I really can't put it on the page. So you stick it here on the space bar on the picture so you can see more clearly. And uh, you can just close this. And you can see there they're sitting in the video and they're copyright symbol. I'm not going to show you how to animate it just yet, but we have a lot of time. But just to show you now that you can take that copyright symbol and start into the copyright into the copyright. Yes. So please subscribe, please like the video, really appreciate it. Thank you. See you again next time.